Hey, hello, hi, dear Swift learners. How are you all? I hope that you all are very safe and sound at your homes. And I, Ritika, am back, bringing with me another new session for you all. So we will be seeing what are we going to study today. But before that, let us have a quick tour around Swift Learn. So Swift Learn it is India's most sincere learning destination, wherein we provide the classes for grade one to grade ten. Over here at Swiflon, you will be getting live and interactive classes in which you will be connecting with your teachers through audio and video calls, and you will be taking your lessons. Then we have personalized attention badge in which maximum six students are present so that teachers can pay attention to every single child. We also have an academic mentor team to look after your progress and to help you throughout your sessions. Plus, we cover your syllabus as per your school exam schedule, so that you can do well in your schools also. Apart from these things, there are some of the key features which make Swiftlearn all the more special. These include a detailed progress report. So, after every two two and a half month, you will be getting a progress report, which will be a detailed analysis of what you have been doing in your classes. You can also participate in Swiftlearn Academic Test Series, and you can see where do you stand and what are the things say you need to improve. Plus, you can take unlimited practice tests, which include two categories: subjective and objective. So, please book a free trial class on Swiftlearn and experience all these amazing things by yourself. Please subscribe to the channel of Swiftlearn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any amazing update by Swiftlearn. So today we are going to do nervous system. It's our second session, in which we are going to revise about our earlier concepts, and we are going to basically learn about the three type of neurons, which are sensory neuron, motor neuron, relay neuron, and we are going to see some of the function of nerves. So in our previous class, we studied about neurons. What are the types? What are the functions? All right. So let us have a quick recap. Neuron. It is the basic functioning unit of our nervous system. Okay, so the, it is a kind of specialized cell which is designed to transmit the information to other nerve cells, muscles, or gland cells. The different type of neurons that we have are sensory, relay, and motor neuron. Okay, so this is a kind of structure of sensory, relay, and motor neuron. We will be studying about each type of them one by one. Now let's begin with sensory neuron. So the function of the sensory neuron is to convert the signal from external environment into corresponding internal stimuli. What do they do? They activate the sensory neuron and they carry sensory information to our brain and spinal cord. And they are pseudo unipolar in structure. All right. Next, uh, talking about the structure of sensory neuron, we have this particular structure, which is cell body, dendrites, peripheral process, exon, central process. Then we have motor neuron. So motor neuron, these are multipolar and are located in central nervous system, and extend they extend their exons outside the central nervous system. So it is the common type of neuron which transmits information from brain to muscles of our body and talking about their structure it looks somewhat like this okay so it is done right here which is uh, then we have exon which is used to pass the signal okay and we have neuromuscular junction okay and this are the muscle fiber so it is connecting here now in motor neuron we have two categories upper and lower so lower motor neurons their function is to carry the signal from spinal cord to smooth muscles and skeletal muscles and this upper motor neuron its function is to carry signal from uh, between our brain and spinal cord so motor neuron they have two categories lower and upper in which lower function is to carry signal from spinal cord to smooth and skeletal muscle and upper function is to carry signal between brain and spinal cord next we have relay neuron so these relay neurons they are found between sensory input and motor output So relay neurons they are found in brain and spinal cord and they allow the sensory and motor neurons to communicate. Now, how does all these function? If I touch something very sharp like let's say cactus, okay? So what will happen? The sensory neuron in our fingertip it will send a signal. 
to relay neuron okay and this relay neuron in our spinal cord it passes the signal to the motor neuron in our hand and that is how we remove the hand immediately now let us study a bit about nerves so what are nerves these are the cable like structure okay so we have electric cables right which are used to transmit the signals similarly we have nerves so the, uh, these are again cable like structure and they transmit impulse and they are involved in control and coordination of our body and they are made up of bundle of fibers okay now talking about the function of the nerve so function or the main function of the nerve is to conduct an electrochemical impulse and convey information okay so uh, we have electrical cables right they just pass on the electrical signal similarly the nerves function is to conduct this electrochemical imp impulse and convey information so the impulse uh, are carried by individual neurons and they make up a nerve then these impulses they travel from one neuron to another by crossing a synapse so synapse is a kind of joining which we uh, also saw in our last class right so here dendrite of another neuron and here it is the synapse of one neuron so it is a kind of junction so these messages are converted from electrical to chemical and again back to electrical and these sensory nerves they carry information from receptor to central nervous system and at the central nervous system the information gets processed and the motor nerves they carry information from central nervous system to the muscles again now we have different type of nerves sensory motor and mixed so nerves basic function is to transmit the signal right so sensory nerves which uh, they are used to send the message or signal from sense organ to brain or spinal cord then we have motor nerve they carry the message from brain or spinal cord to other parts of the body and these mixed nerve they have both function okay so they do the function of sensory nerves also and they uh, perform the function of motor nerves too now talking about nerve disorders so we are having sometimes uncomfortability right because of nerve disorders so these include pain in our nerves muscle mass malfunction changes in sensation changes in the senses vertigo dysarthria sleeping problems and mental disabilities so these are all the nerve disorders which are occurring due to the dysfunctioning of our nervous system now how do neurons transmit the signal so these neurons they transmit message in the form of electrical uh, signal or impulse okay and they do it through neuron and they pass it or convey it to our sense organs and how does this thing happen let us see so neurons as we already saw that it consists of dendrite cell body nucleus and exon right what happens is the information that is detect detected by the dendrite and these are converted to impulse and they are passed into the cell body now exon it collects the impulse and at the nerve ending these electrical impulse are converted into chemicals and they are released these chemicals will be passed to the next neuron through a gap which is known as synapse so it is a kind of junction and this is how the neuron transfer the message from one uh, neuron to another neuron now our question says explain motor neuron so motor neuron it is multipolar and it is located at central nervous system okay and it transfer uh, it transmits the information from brain to muscles of our body now nerves nerves these are the cable like structure that transmit the impulse they that give the signal that transmit the signals okay and convey the information next how are new, how neurons transmit the signals so neurons it has dendrite cell body uh, and nucleus and exon okay so what is happening is the information it is detected by the dendrite okay and then it is converted into impulse then it is passed on to the cell body where exon it collects the impulse and nerve ending it converts that impulse into uh, chemicals and release it and that is how the information gets transmitted now an interesting fact says this fastest signal transmission in our body it occurs in alpha motor neurons within the spinal cord the signals are transmitted at the rate of 
268 miles per hour and as we age we start to lose our neurons okay so starting at around 20 years in uh, old in humans one tenth of our neurons they are gone by the time we are uh, of 75 years of age as we age our brain shrinks by about one two grams every year due to loss of neurons so as we lose our neurons the brain also starts shrinking what makes you scratch your scratch your legs while sleeping so we stretch our legs while sleeping for improved flexibility and for better circulation now let's do an activity to see what are the things that we have learned today the dash is a convert signal from external environment into corresponding internal stimuli so it is sensory neuron then dash neurons are neuronal cell located in central nervous system so it is motor neurons and which nerves uh, carry messages from brain to spinal cord so it is motor nerves all right so what are the things that we have learned today we just had a revision of earlier concept we learned about the three type of neurons which are sensory motor and relay and then we studied about three type of nerves sensory motor and mixed nerve so i hope that you might have understood everything that we have learned today it was a very simple and easy chapter if you have missed out on the first part you can go to the siflan channel the videos are listed there and we will be taking this chapter further in which we will be studying a bit more about the nervous system so let us meet in the next class till then keep studying keep learning and also book your free trial class at swiftler thank you